Hello everyone, Rock IP here, and today we are playing Super Pixel Robot Rampage. If you're new to the series, we take a look at indie games made by small developers, made by people who do it as a hobby, people who are doing it as a student project, people who do it to try and get recognised in the bigger scene, people who could be you, could be me, people just interested in making games just for fun. And we take a look to see which ones are hidden indie gems. This one caught my eye. It was recently set up, I believe in July, is when they first brought it out. It's pay what you want on their website. And it's made by four students in a very famous university in Madrid. The Complutense University of Madrid. Something like that. I'm not very good at pronunciations, but we're going to give it a go. The, more, the story is basically AI have gone rogue. And they're trying to kill you. I guess this is kind of like... Kind of like the roguelike type games that I'm used to playing. Ah, oh, there's stuff that tells me what to do there. Yeah, I got left click to shoot. Press I. Is the first try gun. This game is from First Try Studio. That's the name of their studio. M opens the map. Yep. Yeah. Definitely another roguelike game. I've played a few like this. A few bullet hell. Ooh. Oh, is that collectibles? It is. That's currency. Currency is like bytes. Bits. Like, oh. I didn't realize there was blocks there. Okay, cool. You kill a bunch of things. Is that a trap? Yes. Yes, it is. So I think I'm going to presume everything is a trap. R to reload. So you get 10 bullets, but they're unlimited ammo. Press I to see what gun you're using. Press M to look at the map. What other buttons have we got? F to open the most useful shield of all time. Ooh. That is useful. Oh, I only seem to get one. E to interact. Q to swap between the two gun slots. Oh, this looks like a shotgun. What does it say? Fusion shotgun. It is! Oh! Oh, there's too much going on. Oh, I am a fan of bullet hell games. What was the most recent one I played? I played a few. Yeah, this game reminds me of Creekside Creep Invasion. That's what that's what it was called. Mixed with Oh bloody hell, I got hit by two. Like it could easily be like a second version of it. Only this one is like cyber based, whereas that one is Halloween themed based. Like trick or treaters and all that. I'm glad the bullets come to you after a while. Oh, I need some way to heal. Because this is hard. This is a hard game. Right click to dash. I gotta kill these things to move on. There we go. Five shots they take just for your beginner troops. That's a bit hard to be honest. For the first room. We'd expect maybe three. Three would be reasonable. In terms of hits. Because you have as many lives as they do. Because you start with five lives. I wonder if I'm invincible when I do my charge. I got a bit of fire rate, but it doesn't really matter. Well, at least the map isn't procedural. As I've discovered. What's this? Kind of like a rocket launcher, it looks like. Oh, it's just a, like a melee weapon. This is the worst game to have melee weapons in. Oh no, it's fired, a, it fired bombs. It's just a weird animation on it.
Ugh. At least it's a one-hit kill. It's just a weirdly long animation. I click it and then, like two seconds later, it fires the shot. I gotta wait for this thing to explode. I just spat out food. I have cash. Oh, can't go wrong with like some form of AK. What do I swap it for? That gun that suddenly isn't unlimited? I found a bug. Yeah, non-generic. That one thing looks like a money bag. I can't really afford it. Oh, and I can't afford an extra life. Oh no, this gun isn't very good. They take too many hits. But, I can go back now and heal up. Once I've killed this last guy. Get what I think is extra life. Although, it doesn't even do anything. I'm pressing E on it, it's not doing anything. That's sad. Ah, I found the first boss! This calls for... Oh my god! Fire the gun! What? How did I die then? I didn't I didn't see me get hit by a bullet. Let's try again. Man, sick a second player in this. And you've got into the gungeon, baby. Like a more sprightier into the gungeon. It's all about dodging and weaving. Oh no! No wait, this was how this is what this looked like before. I was about to say it's procedural, but the map is the same no matter if you die or not. Cool, it's just annoying that your main gun gets ten bullets and it takes five to kill someone. So let's get the code thrower. It throws code like it's a flame. It was quite clever. I'm glad that the AI isn't super smart. It's not able to follow you too well. Makes it a little easier, I guess. This is such a tough little game. I don't have nearly as much money as I had last time. I wonder what that does. Improve magazines. Does that even include for this gun? It does! 15! That's all I needed! I haven't got enough cash to afford anything else. Damn it! What's that? A minigun! It takes just as many rounds as the previous gun does! That's not a good gun! There we go. So I think I get to the boss once I've cleared this room. Oh, there's like no way to dodge that. This time I have a lot more life. Come on then. Same boss. I can't remember what the shield was. Should I be concentrating on the boss? I kind of feel like I should be. Come on, man. See how he likes it. I did it! He didn't like it! Okay, cool. I get a chest. An extra life. Oh, I want to replace... I got a ray gun. I think I've made a huge mistake picking this up instead of using my normal handgun. But we move on to the next level. Yeah, boy. So what is this? I don't know what that is. Does it give me extra life? 
Oh, one hit kills. That's what I need. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't. I'm already to swap my guns. Planet Destroyer. Let's see what it is. Just because it's for this video. Oh. Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, I've messed up. Planet Destroyer is not very good. Go back to the flamethrower. I think it's just lost ammo. What? Bummer. So anyway. I'll carry on playing. I don't think I need to show you much more of this game. I think you know how it works. Each level, I guess, gets harder and harder. And you guys get added in. I don't know how many levels there are. I wonder if it tells me. There are three levels currently with their own unique boss. Six different types of enemy. 27 different weapons. So that's quite interesting to find out what weapons there are. Are they randomly generated, the weapons, when you open the treasure chest? Or are they the same weapons every time? Because it would be interesting to see some of them. Some of the weapons were terrible though. Like the ones that took anything longer than a second to fire, not very good on bullet hell type games. Because you got to be with it, you got to be quick. Every kill, every second counts. So anyway, this has been Super Pixel Robot Rampage. My first try studios. Students from a very prestigious university in Spain. If you've enjoyed this video, Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. I got a whole playlist. This is episode 33, I believe. Check out the other videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you to anyone who subscribes. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the game in the video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up or down, depending on which way you swing on that as well. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.